What's up YouTube, today I'm going to be replacing the motherboard on my Artillery Sidewinder X1. I've been having a couple of problems with it this past couple of weeks and the problem on it should be solved by changing my motherboard. So here we go. So whenever I try to go heat up my bed I get a min temp error. That means either the thermistor is bad or the motherboard went bad. In this case I found out that my motherboard went bad by replacing the thermistor in my hot end and the thermistor of the bed on the motherboard. That's how I diagnosed the problem and that's how that's one of the ways to do it. So first I have to take off the bottom panel and then I can get to the motherboard. Alright, so now that the bottom panel is off, what I'm going to do now is replace the motherboard. So in, in order to do that, to not get confused, I'm going to go one by one, and that's going to make the process a whole lot easier, and it's going to make it to where I can plug in everything correctly. So we're going to start by removing the board first. Here I realized I didn't want to be floating around so I brought in a chair and put the boards on it so I'm making it a little bit easier to work with. So if you're going to go through this procedure yourself, I really recommend that you bring either a heat gun or a hair dryer because the amount of hot glue they put on there is ridiculous. They slather that thing on real heavy and it's really hard to remove the wires and you don't want to end up breaking them by pulling on them. Alright, so there's one more thing on my um, that I need to do. So the heatsink fell off of this little circuit board. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it with some alcohol on a Q-tip, and then reapply some thermal paste and put it back on. Um, that should be it, and that should be my printer should be up and running by then. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Alright, so with everything replaced and screwed back in, I'm going to go ahead and check. We can already see that the bed is reading at 25 degrees Celsius, meaning that it is working. But just to see, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the bed and see if it heats up. And as you can see, I was able to bring it up to 70 degrees without it giving me a min temp error, meaning we did indeed fix it. And here I am just touching the bed just to see if it turns hot, and yes it does. Alright, so after getting everything put back together, um, testing the bed and seeing if it heats up, the heating works fine now, but the extruder gear doesn't work, so now I gotta find out um, what else is wrong with the printer, so it's not 100% done yet, um, I still got some things to work on, but I think that's a, I don't know if I'm gonna do it today because I don't think I have time, but um, hey. Turns out I was a little bit too curious and I didn't want to end with a broken printer so I ended up opening up the bottom panel again unscrewing everything and found out I had unplugged I had not plugged in a cord but that one wasn't the problem I actually forgot to plug in the stepper motor on the extruder so go figure of course if I didn't plug that in it's not gonna work so that was the problem in and of itself and after I plugged that in it was up and running printing better than ever
So yeah, in total, it took around two hours to do. One hour for the replacement of the motherboard, and then the other hour to figure out why my extruder wasn't working, which I found out it just wasn't plugged in. So we figured that one out. Um, but yeah, today was by no means an extensive how-to on motherboard and all that stuff. It was more of just me documenting that I replaced the board and one of the problems that I was having and how I fixed the problem. If you would like me to do a video in the future on how I diagnosed finding, um, on how I diagnosed my min temp error that it was the motherboard and not the thermistor, um, please let me know down below. I will, I can go ahead and make a video on that. It's not too hard, um, but I would love to show how I figured that out. Um, and and yeah, if you would like to see anything else in the future, also please let me know. I do plan on doing a review for this printer just because of things that I have to talk about it. Um, but yeah, if you watch all the way through, you found anything interesting, please like, share, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. Um, and I'll see you on the next video I make.